Hello lovely YouTubes, I hope you are all well. I am fantastic. I am coming to you directly from a small little town in Germany called Konstanz. No idea if I'm saying that right, but that's kind of how it sounds when people say it here. Um, I am here to attend a course at the University of Konstanz. Um, I will get into a bit of details later about how the course goes, but or what it's about. But right now, I am walking along sort of a waterfront here because this town is on Lake Constance, which is I think the biggest lake or the biggest water body in Germany, and it borders Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. So it's a huge, huge lake, and here you can see it behind me. I'm walking to it now. Um, it's really, really beautiful. It's my first day out and about in the town, so I'm doing a bit of touristy stuff before the registration for the course starts this afternoon. So I'm going to vlog throughout. I hope you enjoy this episode. Oh, guys, it's been a long two days. Yesterday uh, we had the registration and a few introductory talks and the welcome function to the event. We had a lovely dinner, had some delicious German beer and a cool local band played for us. So got home a little bit late last night. Then I have been at the university the whole day learning all about stable isotopes, which has been fantastic. I'm at the university now waiting for my bus to go home. I mean, look at this place. It's beautiful. It's like set in the middle of a forest. You can hear the birds chirping away. It's such a beautiful setting to host the summer school. So unfortunately I've been inside the whole day, um, but I'll get to do some outdoor stuff on Thursday. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, these first two days have been very informative. I actually just had a really nice chat with um, one of the sort of, I don't know, professors who are here um, who really know everything and anything about stable isotopes. I had a chat to him about my data um, and what was the best way to analyze it because neither of my supervisors have really worked with stable isotope data before. So it's been a little bit um, tricky trying to get everything 100% correct, but I feel much more confident after today's talks and after my chat with the professor. So it's been good thus far. fresh morning for day three of the stable isotope summer school walking to my bus stop so I thought it would be a good opportunity to discuss exactly what stable isotopes are so some basic stuff you have an atom that is made out of an electron a proton and a neutron and atoms of the same element can have different number of neutrons and this is what we call isotopes of an atom so a carbon atom can have either 13 neutrons 12 neutrons or 14 neutrons, I think. Um, now some isotopes are stable, they do not decay through time. Some are radioactive and they do decay through time. So this is carbon-14, that's what they use for carbon dating. But we deal with the stable um, isotopes, um, so they do not decay through time, they're stable through time, so we can make some pretty interesting inferences from them. And stable isotope compositions, so you have a light isotope which has a fewer number of neutrons and a heavy isotope which has more number of neutrons and the ratio of heavy to light isotopes varies quite consistently um, across space and sometimes time so you can figure out so many cool things from stable isotope i'm using them for diet some people use them to figure out where animals come from it's used in forensics um, to try and identify people there are so many awesome uses for this tool. We have 
just finished the fourth and final day of the Stable Isotope Summer School. Today was a very cool day. We had a lot of very interesting talks, but then we also had the opportunity to go down and visit the Limnological Institute here at the university, which is actually where the Stable Isotope Lab is. So it's a little bit of a walk from the university. It's right on the shore of the Lake Constance, which was really, really pretty. We got to see the lab and all the instrumentation, which was very interesting. And then at the end of the day, we went to the beer garden at the university. Yes, the university has a beer garden, which I think is fantastic. We had a few beers to finish off the summer school this perfect evening. What a way to finish it. So today is the social day of the summer school, which is awesome. It's another beautiful spring day. We are out busy doing a hike. Uh, there were a variety of activities you could choose. I chose the hike because I love hiking and I love the outdoors. So we're hiking along the Lake Constance, going to go through some forest and I think see a castle, end up in a beer garden. So really looking forward to this day out. After an absolutely perfect day of hiking through the forest, through the countryside, through some beautiful towns, it's turned into another stunning evening. So I am just had dinner and now I'm sitting on the banks of Lake Constance to say my farewell to this beautiful German lake. Um, you can see the Alps in the background, it's a beautiful clear evening, so it's just absolutely magical. Tomorrow I take the train back to Munich and for those who watch my Australia vlogs, uh, when I travel I like to volunteer. Um, so tomorrow I am heading to a llama, alpaca and horse farm where I will be volunteering for just over a week. So I will chat to you when on said farm. Mm -hmm. 